should you buy the RTX 3080 today? NVIDIA released the RTX 3080 to a different world, and since the release, we've gotten basically nothing from NVIDIA. 4K gaming was supposed to be a breeze for the 3080, but years later, the 3080 hardly manages 60 FPS stable. But I wanted to take it a step up, so we're actually going to try 5K. 5K resolutions, while not common, is fairly well supported, and 5120 by 2880 being almost 2K more pixels than 4K, and what CPU Ryzen 7 3700X. It's insane. Now while being a generation old, it still does hold up fairly well, and we shouldn't expect a severe bottleneck. Ryzen 7 old, but not so old, upgrading is a must. For this test, we're also using 16 gigs of Corsair RAM. The performance you can expect from the two without giving away too much for now is fair. The RTX 3080 is definitely showing its age, but is the RTX 4000 series worth the added power draw and additional cost? I tested a few games at 5K, 2K, 1440, and 1080p. The RTX 3080 holds up well, but it's not a gaming beast, crushing our benchmarks. While the RTX 3080 still does hold up well, I think it may be time to start looking at other options, as some of these can run you as much as $500, a very close price to almost $600 for a new 4070, performing almost the exact same in most cases. With the 4070 doing better with RTX on, you will also get all the pros of buying a new card, but still the RTX 3080 is a great option. You can expect to play games well at any resolution, however 1% lows can really bring the experience down. The better looks may not be worth the lower FPS in some cases, but where you can play at 30 FPS, the 3080 will do well. If you want the most FPS for the dollar, the 3080 is a great value buy right now. But 5000 series hopefully will see price cuts and a bunch of added performance that we didn't see with the 4000 series. If you want to hold out for the 5000 series and you already have a 3080, do not buy the 4000 series. The performance just isn't worth the extra money and power usage. You will get more FPS, but it's just not worth it. The 3080 does well enough to say that holding out isn't a bad option, and if you're trying to decide between the two, then you should likely get a 4000 series card. 4070 in some cases can be comparable to the 3090, which at $600 is amazing. Still not 4090 speeds or even 4080, but still the cost proposition there is basically non-existent. Most people don't need to run 5K Ultra settings RTX on, but if you want to, the RTX 4090 is your best bet. The RTX 3080 is still a beast and will definitely not disappoint. You can't buy one new for a decent price anymore unless you get extremely lucky, but still 3080s are priced well, and if you do want a 4070, you can find decent prices on those cards as well. The GPU market right now is a little fuzzy, with Nvidia seemingly not caring about gaming or gamers in general. Only time will tell how 5000 series holds up and if they keep up with these crazy price trends. The 3080 holds up well in my testing with it not doing terrible in any games, which is nice to see. Considering I basically always maxed it out, we tested Hitman, Cold War, Ready or Not, Elden Ring, and Unigen Superposition. Our Superposition scores first, 4K with a score of 89.53, and next 8K with a score of 51.98. Gaming was a little more clear on how that translation works out, which is about 20% decrease going from 4K to 5K. Ready or Not was the newest game we tested, and I do think they need more time to optimize their game, and I think they could have an amazing performing game as well, as there seem to be some performance left on the table. Cold War is our most optimized test, yet still a very pretty game, but it does show its age. Elden Ring was a demanding test, with Elden Ring being the only game, not able to get 50 FPS maxed out 5k RTX on. Hitman is a more general test, fitting in the middle, being a fairly well optimized game, while still looking amazing. This wasn't a super comprehensive test suite, but I think this still shows how the 3080 will perform across the board of demanding games. So as long as you're willing to crank your settings back or lower your resolution, do not expect 60 FPS 5K gaming from the RTX 3080. But remember, is anyone really getting this card for 4K Ultra Gaming? And sadly, if you are, you simply can't. Now still the RTX 3080 is a great choice in 2023, and buying one will leave you with no regrets. You can't get much better performance at this price, $500 while still steep is somewhat unbeatable. The RTX 3080 is definitely not the final GPU for your build, but strong enough to play whatever games your heart desires. You can get good deals on the RTX 3080 and it makes it hard to say no. I wish the 4000 series was better. Hopefully Nvidia gives us something with the next generation. I would say 1440 is a sweet spot for this card as any higher you start to reach VRAM limits, at least with the 10 gigabyte version. Ultra 1440 still looks amazing and super sampling in some games will completely even out the differences. For some FPS. So buying the RTX 3080, while not a bad option, isn't the best for 4K or 5K Ultra, which while disappointing, not enough to say you shouldn't buy one. The RTX 3080 is still an amazing card with more years of life. Keep yours in good condition, running cool, and you won't regret your purchase over the last year. I've used the 3080 and I've had no complaints. 
While I have wished that I could crank the settings and run around, it would be interesting to see. For $500, you should taper your expectations. It's still a great gaming card, and even after the 5000 series, it will still likely be an amazing choice for any gaming rig. Ray tracing has made hardware feel old, but disabling the fancy lights will make practically any card usable.
So overall, the RTX 3080 is still a really great card, and for $400 to $500, it's not a bad pick. However, if you're going to pay the same amount for a 4070, I would likely pick the 4070. Of course, if they're both used cards, then you might as well get the 3080 and probably save $100. Now, the 4070 is still a great card, but I haven't personally tested one. 2K gaming is still very decent on the 3080, and I could see you getting away with using this for another two and a half years. More than likely, the 6000 series will be an amazing upgrade, and everybody will probably want it. And there will be a price decrease on the 5000, so maybe buying a 5000 then will be the better option. Power draw is still fairly low for being a last generation card, and the 4070s do have fairly decent power draw, but still the 3080 is not crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and if you enjoyed, then you can leave a like, and if you hated it, then you can leave a dislike, and tell me what graphics card you have in the comments uh, if you guys want to see more then you can subscribe and if you don't want to see more then don't subscribe and tell me why you don't see more uh thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one